Hi, everybody. I'm your host, Charlene Shirk. Welcome to Digital Champions, where we speak to some of the most innovative thinkers in the digital space. And joining us today from Ashland, Oregon, is Lisa Mannion with Right On Creative. Lisa, thank you so much for joining us today on Digital Champions. It is my absolute pleasure to be here. Now, normally we think right on, that's, you know, R-I-G-H-T, but you are right, like write something. So talk to us a little bit about kind of the origin of that name and what you do over there. Absolutely. Well, it is about being right on in all contexts of the word, basically, or the words, I should say. Um, I focus on high level strategy and marketing communication. So we're talking about content and messaging for businesses across the globe. And how do you, what are you addressing with your clients to make them stand out from the other agencies? Absolutely. We focus on passion points and painting a picture of possibility as opposed to poking at pain points, which kind of flips the script and is a bit disruptive by design because everything we do is values based and aligns our clients with their big mission and helps them get way better results by having a clear strategy and a very clear message. Well, and you kind of said, you know, let's turn that around the pain points. Let's look at this as kind of a positive thing, which I love. But what are they coming to you that they need help with specifically? Yeah, mostly when people come my way, they're completely turned off by the pain point marketing. So they're very conscious business um, owners and entrepreneurs, and their big goal is to have everything energetically aligned and to make a big difference in the world. And what I've found is they're often disconnected when they're taught to poke at pain points as opposed to paint that picture of possibility by highlighting the passion points and showing what can happen once their product or service is experienced. And when you say passion point, can you break that down a little bit? Because you're absolutely right. That's the marketing trend now. Don't talk about yourself. Talk about your potential customer. Talk about what pain point they have and how you solve it. So how do you flip that script? Can you give us an example? Yeah, it's really a subtle shift, right? It's about meeting people where they are with empathy and understanding as opposed to highlighting those pain points to make them feel worse about their position in business or where they are, right? So a passion point is more about reaching people where they are and then within your solution piece, because I've pioneered the challenge solution and invitation framework to help people flip that script and focus on passion points. In the solution piece is where we paint that picture of possibility with passion points. So instead of focusing on lack and what's wrong or what's missing, we focus on the possibility. For example, when people work with me, they I basically take the pain out of planning and the pain points out of marketing so it works more seamlessly for them. And many of the people that are in business want to market, but they're not marketers. And so when they are feeling that disconnect with pain points, they get stuck. It's an energetic disconnect and they can't move forward because it doesn't feel right to them. And so Lisa, tell me, so many folks are, are kind of, hey, this is what I'm keeping my eye on right now. We're talking about AI and video, video, video and loss of cookies and things, third party data. But what's been interesting is we, we talk, to, I talk to folks like you, each one is kind of focused on something different as it relates to their industry. What are you on the lookout in the next year to two years that you think is very important that other folks should be focused on? I think the... Um importance of community, especially online, is growing. And I think it's vital to, to create your own platform when at all possible, because we don't have full control or ownership on the real estate of other platforms. For example, any of the social media platforms at any time can, can deplatform you. So making sure that your website is really tight and up and running the right way, and then looking at other solutions to housing community where you have full ownership of that and don't have that possibility of being deplatformed. Do you mean like a like a, a podcast, for example? A podcast can be that. It could be something like another platform such as Mighty Networks that isn't on social media. It could also be investing in tech experts to create your own digital community on your website, whether that's a plugin or it's a specially customized and programmed platform, completely up to you. And it depends on your strategy. But that's what I'm really um, trying to stress the importance of because so many people will say, well, 
email doesn't work anymore. Well, the fact of the matter is it does. And it's super important to have your own platform and your own way to communicate. There are people out there that are advising people to build their business on a specific platform, say, for example, Facebook. And that's really not smart, smart because you're putting all your eggs in one basket. And while certainly it can work and you can make money from that and you can build a business that way, if, for example, Facebook decides to shift and they're already shifting, we're not sure exactly yeah. what they're going to do now that they've rebranded to Meta, um, we don't know what's going to happen. So <laughs> making sure you've got your bases covered and you own your own platform, whether it's your website or what else it might be, that's just vital, I believe. That is great advice. And we've actually interviewed a couple of folks, to your point, who are designing platforms specific for folks to plug into their websites so they can see who their customer is and without depending on that third-party data. Well, Lisa, thank you so much for joining us today. We love you bringing up passion points. We talk about pain points all the time. We appreciate you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Oh, and so if you'd like to check out Lisa Mannion and what she's doing on it right on Creative, she's got a beautiful, fresh, great looking website. You should check it out. I love that passion points. And you can check that out on dailyadbrief.com. I'm your host, Charlene Shirk. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Digital Champions. And we look forward to learning something new with you next time. Simplify presents Addressable CTV. Combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.